Right, I've got an egg for Nigel, and what I need to do now is I need to make it up into a roll that's usable on a tele machine. So I need to add a head and a tail leader, and I also need to punch holes for the, in the, for the edge numbers. So on the tele machine, they have a start and a finish point. Start off with a tail leader, because the negative is tail out. It's the way it comes off the machine. My scribe tail, put this on this centre. And wind off some tail leader. I'll cut that on the splicer. And I'll put process negative back on the horse. This is a, is a tape splicer and it's just for making up negatives. It's not something you'd really use in when you're editing, editing anything. You have to twist the neg over. You have to obviously have to make sure you twist it around the right way. I'll use the tape to do a join. Turn it around. Take the other side. Just joining leader onto the film. So this is the protection leader. So basically what I'm going to do now is I have to find the last key number. I'm going to write the end key number. Because we're going to tell the cine operator, he's going to run it from the head key number. But I'm going to punch a hole and he's going to finish. This is where going to be his finish point. So I need to write the key number down. So you'll be able to read it off the can, which is E078. Basically, all along the film has got these edge numbers, which Kodak put on, or Fuji put on when they're manufacturing the film. So when, you're, when it comes to splicing, you have these different numbers. So if you want to cut a certain scene out, you do from edge number to edge number. And when you're telecining it, the old way of telecining it, it actually reads the edge numbers. So then it gives, when you're just splicing it all together, then it makes it a lot easier to get exactly what you need. So now I'm going to run through the whole neg to the ends. So now I've got to the head, and what I have to do, I need to punch a hole for the telecine op to start. And right at the ed end here, I've got a hole complete edge number. So I'm going to write that edge number down. I'm also going to punch a hole in the dot frame. Punch a hole in the dot frame. So when this, this gets put on the Tilly City machine, he will run this from the heads until he gets that dot, that dot in the middle of his tele, or the aperture of the Tilly City machine, and you'll see it on the screen. And that's when he starts recording the edge numbers and the, and the, the action. So now I'm put this. This is the head leader. So this is just to protect the, the image, the main. Film. And then we cut that off. Just scribe head. And that's a roll made up, but you can't just leave it like that because every time you handle film, you have to clean it. So, <coughs> because I've handled it and it's head out, you've got to clean it from the tail to the head so it's ready for telecine. So what I have to do <coughs> is rewind it. That's it, it's ready for cleaning. There's a lot more skills involved in film than the digital side of thing. I mean, if you sh shoot it on digital, you just get your SD card out and stick it in the computer and you're done. But with this, you have to make it all up. And it's, you know, there is a skill involved. I do have to put it in a bag. Yeah, it just protects the negative. I mean, if the can opened up or it, someone lost the lid or something or they dropped it, at least it's gonna be in a bag. So it's extra, extra protection. That's it. Ready to go.